Shire. See, everybody loves dragons, because they're f***ing awesome. So let's now look at the top five dragons of video games. Five. First up, I'm going to take some liberties here on this one, but it's the dragon from Mortal Kombat. And no, I'm not talking about the logo. But starting in MK2, Liu Kang's fatality was him turning into a goddamn dragon and biting his enemy in half. Now this is kind of funny, because in the first Mortal Kombat, Kang's finisher was really simple and just kind of silly. It was this weird roundhouse spinny kick thing followed by an uppercut. Boo! So boring! Well, he heard the crowd's boos and he came back to the second tournament big. Question is, why doesn't he just always fight in the dragon form? Eh, details. Moving on. Four. Number four goes to a terrifying beast. Now, what's scarier than a dragon? A dragon that's actually made up of demons. Yep, I'm looking right at the arch demon from Dragon Age Origins. The final boss was so intense and led whoever killed it would also die as well. See, that, that sucks. But this dragon doesn't normally come up to fight in a blight unless it absolutely needs to. And when it does, he means business. Grey Wardens are terrified of this thing. Not only does it lead the dark spawn, but the Wardens can hear it speaking to them while they're asleep. Yeah, that's f***ed up. Three. Next is just my favorite playable dragon that just over time has lost some of his cool. Spyro the Dragon was one of my favorite games on the PS1. Rift of Rage, the second one, just as great. It's right up there with Crash. He kind of played as a mascot for Sony. See, a dragon with a serious attitude problem who has to go and save all of his dragon buddies and collect a bunch of gems along the way. It was a fun game, colorful with good replay value, plus being able to head ram enemies was just a lot of fun and super gratifying. Oh, and breathing fire on helpless sheep? Cause you could. Cause he's a dragon. Two. The number two spot goes to a dragon so badass that I actually had to lower the game's difficulty just to beat him. Uh, Alduin from Skyrim was the dragon of dragons. Really? Other dragons were terrified of him and did as he said. In fact, the first time someone is able to defeat him, the Nord Champions actually had to trap him in time and hope that he couldn't escape out of there. But he makes it through and boy is he angry. You, you, you would be too, but he only is number two on this list because of his bad luck. Come on, he comes back in time to when the Dragonborn is up and running and is ready to dose throw da his ass. Just on an easier setting. One. Finally, to number one. And I'm gonna give you a heads up now. I'm gonna get a lot of for this one and I don't care. The number one best dragon is Charizard from the original Pokemon. Now half of you are like, of course he's the best dragon. What's wrong with you? And the other half of you are a step ahead here saying Charizard is not actually a dragon Pokemon. He's just a fire type. In fact, the only Dragon-type Pokemon are Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonair. I'm looking at the original series here. Please, don't give me those new crap. But really, really, Dragonite? F Dragonite. He's all cute and cuddly, not nearly as badass as Charizard. Let's look at the details here. Flies? Check. Looks like a dragon? Yeah, definitely check. Breathes? Fire? F yeah, that's a check. By all means of the definition, this guy is a dragon. He's the reason why Pokemon Red sold over blue so damn well. Charizard, don't let them hold you back, man. You're one badass dragon and number one on my list. Now go munch on some Tauruses or Chanseys or whatever you Pokemon eat. Well, there you go. It wasn't easy in getting all these dragons weeded out for a top five. Let me know your favorites and what should have actually made it to the list down below. Also, feel free to hit me up on Twitter or in the comments to let me know like what top five I should do next. Guys, till next time, I'm the Jovenshire, and I'll see you later.